So I really have uh, two purposes for this trip to, to Rome. And first of all, I want to thank uh, Embassy Rome for hosting us. Uh, first of all, the follow-up from the uh, Wales Summit, where 28 NATO leaders came together last September in Wales in the United Kingdom and took some pretty fundamental decisions about the future path of the alliance. So one of the things we're doing here at the six-month mark is going around to key allied capitals and conducting follow-up visits. Uh, it's very important we come to uh, Italy in that regard because Italy is and has been for a long time a leader among the 28 allies. Uh, you see this leadership play out in uh, Afghanistan today, in Kosovo. Uh, recently, Italy just signed up to be one of the framework nations, that is a leader nation for the new high readiness brigade that was agreed at Wales. So a second purpose for coming to Rome is simply to say thank you to our Italian colleagues for all they've done to make NATO a strong and adaptive and ready to take on the new challenges of the future. So I expect uh, the leadership role that Italy has played over these last decades will continue.